starting out, seeing and hearing chops like this can be a tad overwhelming. So let me slow it down for you and see if you can figure out exactly what I'm doing. Now, I don't know if you could hear as I was slowing it down, but I was only playing two things, two little ideas. One idea was kick, kick, right, left, right, left. And there's a little pop on that first left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left. And the other idea I was playing was even shorter. It was only three notes long, kick, right, left. Now, those two little ideas, that's not the secret to chops. Those are just the two things that I happen to be playing in the intro of this video. But those things allow for a lot of chops to be possible. So we'll get to the secret in a second, but let's talk about chops or licks or whatever you want to call them, even fills. A lot of advanced drummers seem to say things like chops don't matter. Fills don't matter, licks don't matter. And that's the exact same thing as rich people saying money doesn't matter. So the next time a rich person tells you money doesn't matter, say, cool. Can I have yours? And see how they react. I would love for a drummer that I look up to to say, yeah, chops don't matter. I'd be like, cool, can I have yours? Well, no, it's not that they don't matter. It's just, you know, you gotta, yeah, that's what I thought. The reality is that what matters is being able to play what's required of you in the moment or being able to play the things that you hear in your head. If that's a simple groove with a killer pocket, then fantastic. If it's throwing heat all over the kit at the end of a song when your guitarist is like, give me some, and you're going, then that's fantastic as well. Now, as far as those ideas that I played for you in the beginning of this video, we have that six, kick, kick, right, left, right, left, and we have that three, kick, right, left. And those can be interchangeable, they can be multiplied. Even just that grouping of three, it's only three notes, but you could do so much with the dynamics. I'll blow your mind real quick. Well, that, I might not, but this is pretty cool. All right, so let's take kick, right, left. You guys know what a paradiddle is, right? Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. I'm always gonna be playing kick right left. I'll never change that, but I'm gonna accent either the right hand or the left hand in paradiddle form. Check it out. That's pretty cool, it's pretty freaking cool. All right, if I speed that up and then move the accents to the toms, Maybe it's the drum teacher nerd in me, but I think that stuff is really cool because it's like, oh my gosh, there's endless possibilities. I don't need to learn new things. I need to become better and more proficient at the things I already know. And that is getting us much closer to the secret of chops. All right, so what was that? Well, once again, it was two little ideas. We have a four of right, left, left kick. and a six of right, left, right, left, left kick. And when you start to put those two together and play them with great care for every single note and for the dynamics, and you start to orchestrate around the kit, it becomes quite the chop. So what's the real secret to chops? Well, we can't ignore the fact that there's a physical component to this. You're gonna need some decent hand speed, some decent foot speed, some decent control over your dynamics. But the real secret is taking small little chunks of notes and obsessing on them. Don't play this long stream of chaos and constant improvisation. If you wanna have a chop that you really have a good handle on, take very small little chunks of notes and obsess on them and become very, very proficient at them. And then you can start to just put them together, two chunks of notes, you don't even need three or four, just two and start mixing and matching. And then you will have all the fills in the world. Instead of learning just a fill, why don't you learn what makes the fills possible in the first place?
That's my favorite fill on the planet and I play it all the time, but it's only made up of kick right left and kick kick right left right left. But because I put so much time and effort into those two chunks of notes, that can also be a four bar solo. Now you're more than welcome to work on the two chops I showed you in this video, but that's not the lesson. The lesson is for you to come up with your own short little chunks of notes, obsess on them, own them, and then create your own chops, your own licks, your own fills. I'm getting fired up right now. I'm excited for you. YouTubers, go to the kit, explore this amazing instrument, have fun, create things for yourself, and most importantly, just remember, you got this.